Day 26, holy cannoli. Ooh, cannoli. Jar. It's a lot easier to pick them now, there's so few. <laughs> okay, don't be mad. This one I put into the jar. <laughs> I saw a picture on a Facebook ad for a florist because they start advertising for frickin' Mother's Day three weeks in advance. And it was called the Ocean Breeze Orchid and it was stunning, so I hope I can find it again. We're adding some more florals. Let's do it. That almost landed in the jar. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna insert a picture of these actual flowers. You can get these from 1-800-Flowers. Not sponsored, if that wasn't abundantly clear. <laughs> they are so freaking pretty. Now, the wedge that I'm working with, it's pretty small, so I'm gonna just do a, like a basic like ivory paint background. I don't want it to be exactly the same as the Niffler that's right below it, but I'll do an ivory paint background. Maybe I'll do a detail to make it look like it's on the table, but I want the focus to be the flowers. So I'll do a little bit of the vase, and then the majority of this will be the flowers and the buds sort of going off to the left. I think that's gonna look really nice. So let's do it. There we go. Nice and muted so that the rest of the colors can really explode. This is a dark purple. The flowers themselves, not the base, not the vase. We need some blue. Honestly, I'm probably not gonna lighten the color either because I want it to be that incredibly rich dark purple. Okay, so I'm gonna work with, I'm gonna work with brush four. I'm just gonna start placing some of the of the petals. I'll just sort of see what happens. I've never I've I've never painted a, a vase of flowers with this much dimension to it. So this is a, this is a, this is an experiment. Here you go. I mean, that looks like a bunch of flower petals to me. If not, m maybe some flower petally looking kind of bugs right now. I know I said I wasn't sponsored by 1-800 Flowers, but I mean, hey, 1-800 Flowers, if this works out, you might want to get me on your sponsoring list or something. I don't know how often you would sponsor a YouTuber who paints random crap. Maybe you don't sponsor like the dragon and the sloth episodes, but I mean the flowers. This is... No, I know you said those are going to be purple. And, uh, you know, I wanted them to be purple, but didn't quite show up. I'm trying to add a little more red without making it look like actually red. And it's just, it's not quite getting the color that I want. So I might have to try and mix in some other stuff. That actually kind of added something interesting. That's kind of cool. Well, that starts to dry down. I'm gonna start looking into the little green offshoots that hold just the little, the little flower buds. And it is a pretty light green. So I think I'm just gonna use my light green and see where that takes me. Okay, we need to let that dry because some of those, some of these little stems are supposed to come like out of the entire middle bit, but I want to make sure that those petals are really dry down so I can make that happen, which means uh, that uh, dry time break!
Whatever, we're gonna keep working because art lives on. And you didn't shut up. Thank you for mowing the lawn. Just wish it wasn't so loud. <laughs> so each of these little petals have a lovely little sort of teal root to to where their bud happened. <laughs> Luckily enough, just mixing white with the with the green that I have gives me that that color. Bunny here. Let's see what happens. kind of like that. There's still all these little gaps. Let's add in a few more of these offshoots like I said I was going to and see how much more we need to really fill in. You can see I decided to fill them in a little more. <laughs> How is it that you're my least favorite color and I've used you so much? I'm thinking instead of adding red to my blue, I'm gonna add pink and it should give me a bit of a truer purple and we'll see what we can add in terms of detail with that. Because each of these little petals have the, the darker bluish purple and then like a streak of a much brighter, like pinker purple and then that turquoise color. So let's see what we get with like some rosy pink paint. Maybe even some white as well, who knows? We're going crazy over here. I'm legitimately running out of pink paint. I never, I just, I always, ah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's what we need to do. I dig. I dig with the biggest of shovels. Ooh. Okay, I think what this needs is just a little more definition in where each of the flowers actually are. And one of the things that is true of the first orchid I painted and is true of these is they have the lightest white, we'll call it a halo, around each of the petals and it makes them really pop. So I'm gonna let this part dry and then I'll use my super super tiny 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 detail brush in some white, but still try and keep them delicate. But of course, this thing needs a vase. So let's make that beautiful light purpley color again with the pink and the blue and give it a, give it a little vase. Did that work out as planned? No. Am I gonna stop messing with it because I'm probably just gonna keep making it worse? Uh-huh. I'll just ignore the vase part. Okay, super fine detail brush. Let's see what we can do.
It's messy. I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty messy. This was tricky. Isolating individual flowers in a big mass that's all one color is kind of tough. But honestly, I don't think it needs anything else. I think these guys look a little clunky. I wonder if I can even that out. Okay, that did something. Don't know what. This is another ruminator. I'm gonna leave it. This is my new challenge, figuring out how to paint bouquets of flowers like this. Day 26. We done. It's pretty, but like there's something I don't... I'll bring you in, and then you can tell me what you think. Like, what is it? Why can't I settle with this one? Let me know in the comments below. But we done with day 26, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you had a good time watching me try and paint some more fleurs. We only have four more of these left, and that blows my mind. Like, everything is so full, and then we've got these little blank spots happening. So make sure you're checking out the playlist so you can catch up. Give me some ideas of what you want to see when we're all done with this project, because I'm looking for some. But thanks so much for watching. Give it a like. Hit the subscribe button. I'll try and get this right this time, because I messed it up last time. You're gonna hit subscribe there. Other video there. New playlist there? Maybe? I don't know if I'm right.